Hello all, welcome to the ANSYS tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to perform the 1D static stress analysis of a stepped plate with self weight. This is the given stepped plate. It is fixed at one end and at the step position, it is subjected to a 420 Newton force. The thickness is given, the width is given and the material is also given. We are going to find out the nodal displacement and the element stresses. Open ANSYS workbench. We are going to perform a static structural analysis. So I am going to drag it and drop it here. Engineering data. First I am starting with the material property. The material is already defined as structural steel. So I am not going to change it. Next I am going to change the draw tree. Right click on that and select design modeler. So you can see three planes. I am going to select XY plane. Right click on that and select look at. You can change the units to millimeter. So in the given problem, two different cross sections are given. So I'm going to create two different sketches. So first I'm going to start sketch one, select line and draw a vertical line. Then click generate and next I'm going to create another sketch. Click new sketch, then go to line and draw another vertical line then click generate next i am going to mark the dimensions go to dimensions click general click this line drag it here and drop it here then select the second line click here and drop it so the dimension of the second line v2 is given as 200 mm so to change the length of V1, I am going to sketch 1 and V1 is also given as 200 mm. Then click generate. Okay. Now I am going to convert the sketch into line. So select concept lines from sketches, select line 1, then click apply. Then use generate after each step, then go to concept, select lines from sketches. Select another line, click apply. Here I am going to choose add frozen because for the first line we can apply material and from the second line onwards we have to choose add frozen. Then click generate. Next I am going to define the cross section. Go to concept cross section. The cross section is rectangle and the width is given as 100 mm and the thickness is 25 mm. Click generate. Next create another cross section for the second line. Go to rectangle. So the width is 80 mm and the thickness is 25 mm. Click generate. Next I am going to assign the cross sections for the line body. Select line body 1. Go to cross section and choose rectangle 1. Then go to line body 2 and assign rectangle 2. Now click generate. Next I have created uh, two line bodies next I am going to form a new part so select control choose these two lines and click form new part okay now click generate and close this next I am going to edit the model right click on that click edit now this is our model so to view the cross section you can go to display and select cross section okay now coming back to the model so here I am not going to change the material, so directly I am going to mesh, right click on that, click generate. Now you can see the entire system is discretized into small elements. So next I am going to apply the boundary conditions, so select static structural and starting from fixed support, choose vertex and select the top vertex, click apply. Now I have applied the fixed support here, next I am going to apply the force so select force and choose the second vertex click apply in force we have two types one is vector and another one is component so i'm going to choose components and i'm going to apply a negative y directional force okay so you can see the orientation i'm going to apply y direction in a negative direction so it is minus 420 newton okay. next i'm going to apply 
the gravitational force so you can go to inertial and choose standard earth gravity okay so the direction is predefined as minus z but here the direction is acting in the negative y direction so i am changing it to minus y direction okay so now i have applied all the boundary conditions now i can solve this now the solution is done next i am going to view the results so right click on the solution select insert deformation and i am going to choose directional deformation and i want to see the deformation in the y direction not the x direction because in y direction only i have applied the loads further i want to display the stresses so go to beam tool and select beam tool now right click on the solution and choose evaluate all results now this is our y directional deformation you can choose probe and you can see that okay at uh, the change in section the displacement is minus 1.8 e power minus 7 and at the extreme end it is minus 1.9 e power 7 next to view the stresses you can choose beam tool and you can see the maximum combined stresses okay so the maximum stress is 1.9571 e power 5 pascal you can see that here okay so to save the image go to images and choose image to file and you can type maximum combined stress click ok to animate this go to deformation and you can animate like this thank you